everyone, good morning. Welcome to Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding a little flavor to your morning blend. I am your host, Keisha Boyd, and this is my wonderful co-host, officially Jorge Hi. Mike. Happy con leche. Mm. How are you, darling? Look at, oh, we're all right. Mm. Nice and nice yes. and everything. You know, it's springtime. You got to bring a little... You know, color yes, to it. Yes, spring you know. is in the air. Yes, yes, yes. You want to vibrate. So, how's everything been going for you? Oh my goodness gracious! So you know, I was out in La La Land uh -huh. doing some things, and that's all I can say. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, I mean, I can it's tell coming. you oh, okay. when we go to break, but I can't tell them just yet. Not just yet. But let's talk about the Derby now. Oh, so it's the fifth annual Derby Delight Hi. in Tampa, Florida, May fifth. Sunday, May 5th, from 5 to 8 downtown, and I'm so excited. Hey. You know, hats and men dressed up in their wonderful Work. suits, and you know, it's just a good, good time. That's Live awesome. band, everything. So, well, I'm listen, excited. for all of our Miracle Marvels out there, yes. if you send us a picture mm -hmm. in, you, in your most fabulous hat, yes. Mocha in the Morning will give you a ticket to the Derby. That's right. Well, to the Derby Delight. The Derby Delight. Yes. Because it's, <laughs> we got tickets to the Derby, me and Keisha right here. <laughs> We have <laughs> great things coming up for you for the show. Make sure you stay right here, but... But first, coffee. Mocha in the Morning is brought to you in part by the Portico Cafe, where conversation, connection, and community create change. <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all okay. should hear the stuff that happens when y'all are watching. Listen, <laughs> shout out to our wonderful producer, Shalai. She's freaking awesome. Listen, it is time for our steamers, and we have lots for you. I mean, my goodness, there's a lot yeah, going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. What is oh, going so on? It's bubbling yeah, up. Bubbling and this is like really super key because I know, like like we said, like shout out to our producer, Shalai. Yes. She loves this, and I when I saw this, I was excited to actually talk about it. So guess who has a new Instagram? They're making their gram entrance. Hey, and it is a royal. Yes. <laughs> Megan Harry. Megan and Harry. Yes. And okay, so what's really super cute is like if you look at their like logo, mm -hmm. it's like an M and an H. Oh nice. So oh, I like, saw really so really, Yeah. Cause at first I was like, oh, I can see the M, the H, and the Ann. Oh, I love and it. And of course the crown, everybody can see that. Of course. So yeah, so um, that's kind of exciting. That is you know, exciting because they already have like two point five like million followers already. Of course. Um, so I just thought that's gonna be cute because uh, you know we're gonna be following that. Of course. Hey. To see what's happening with the royals. <laughs> what else you got? Okay, so speaking of social media, Look. this is hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> the hashtag my white privilege was trending. So yeah, I picked up this article in Essence magazine. Uh huh. And uh, there were you know this is. Trending on yes. Twitter. Yeah. And people were just like, you know, putting like their examples uh, of yeah. like all that. I'll, we'll show you some like right now. So we think about that. Like why, so, would, like, why is that trending? Like, why is that trending? But you know what? It's the correct. So, th so this guy put out there a question like, hey, white people, white people, <laughs> let's let, tell us some things you know that you get away with that a black or brown mm. person couldn't. And so that's how the hashtag started, my white privilege. Okay. And so they're just sharing like some of the simplest, craziest things, but it's true. Yeah. You know, like we need more examples. Like, yeah. You know right. what I mean? But anyway. Like we need to be reminded. Reminded. Right. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of reminded, so. <laughs> so Miss so Thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What's his name? Paris. Him. Uh, well, he's really mad right now. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, lawsuits. What's you know, Paris else? Denard. Who let, huh? He's usually, you know, he kind of, they'd be like, you know, don't, you know, going at it on CNN with Don Lemon. I think it's because he might secretly have, well, not a secret anymore. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? I think he kind of wants some of that lemonade. You know what? Oh! <laughs> okay. So Paris Denard, who we really, really don't care about, but he's suing <laughs> ASU, Arizona State, where he used to work. For ten million dollars, nine point nine million dollars, because they released some documents, fully disclosed. Why is those it what the point? Just like round up, right? You know, maybe it's a tax. But the reason. crazy thing is, he's added in like <laughs> amounts of money, like a, a nice, nice sum for reputation rebuilding, right? For ten thousand a month, oh, like really, dude. Look, he can so just like, go to Fiverr.com, right? 
and be like ten dollars <laughs> and you can like hook that up. I love Barbara, by the way. <laughs> and let's talk about Michael Brown's mom in Ferguson. Yes. Real serious. Yeah, real serious. Yeah. Miss Leslie McSpadden Work. is saying, you know what? It's time for me to take my seat at the table. Mm -hmm. And so she's running for office. Yeah, and I love this because you're seeing like a lot of women of color mm -hmm. who have been affected and affected by all this violence yeah. and gun violence, whatever. They're like, okay, they are stepping in and they are like, you know, Gonna yeah. be, they're, they're going to create the change that we need. And not to mention that, you know, we've heard about these mysterious deaths that have been connected to the Ferguson riots. Yeah, like everyone, yeah, it's just like popping off like yeah. one by one. With, and there's no explanation Which for any Which is crazy. Like one was uh, suicide and the other one was like, what, by a fire or something like that? Yeah. So we'll keep you posted right? on that. I mean, for that town to be such in a spotlight for that, and yeah. it's kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. You know, because typically, you know, a lot of these stuff happen like all out in the open. So yeah. I don't know why they're trying to hide it now, but. All right. Well, that's we'll be... a lot. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay tuned with Piping Hot. I like the way she said that. She's like, and probably hi. <laughs> hi, and welcome. <laughs> we're having way too much fun today. <laughs> welcome back to Mocha in the Morning, <laughs> where we're adding a little flavor to your morning blend. A, a little laugh. flavor today. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm your host, Keisha Boy, and this is my mm. co host, officially Jorge. And it's time for Piping Hot. But yeah. first, let's. Uh, Our Favorite Mocha Morning <laughs> contributor. Miss Kicking It With Keith. Yes. And hey, let me tell you, not only did she kick, but she beat that face down to Yes. Death. She is gorgeous, as usual. Yes, ma'am. Thank ma you. What's I up, love guys? it. I gotta love keep it. up with you guys. Hey, girl. Hey, I'm loving it. yellow and gorgeous shirt. I love it. I Thank love the you. look of it. I'm loving your weekend recaps. They're yes. like cracking up. Thank, Thank you. you for those. We love it. All right. So let's jump right into Piping Hot. Um, so as you all know, uh, up and come, well, rapper Nipsey Hussle was murdered in Los Angeles this, you know, this week. And, um, it's quite the tragedy because of the impact that he's had on, you know, his, his, his community, um, his family. I mean, and the things that he was doing. I used to live in Los Angeles, so I'm very, very familiar with the area where this happened because I frequented and my mom didn't live too too far from there some years ago when she was um, in L.A. And it's very sad because, you know, obviously there's a lot of talk and conversation around gang violence because he was a part of a gang. Um, and uh, But there's also the, the conversation of how he... Uh, practiced what he spoke about as far as building up his community being of the people you know he wasn't someone that um, you know was getting his claim to fame and then left the community no he bought the block literally to yes. employ people within that community and it's so sad that that had to happen period but especially right in front of something he worked so hard to build for his community and so we we definitely are feeling that they have arrested you know a suspect so um or the suspect and, and the young lady who was driving the car but it's just really 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 sad uh kia you can weigh in on this i'm gonna weigh in it might take me a few more minutes than normal because yeah. this definitely bothers me on two different levels mm -hmm. um a lot of people always complain that celebrities don't come back to their hometowns and don't contribute they just kind of get famous and move away and that's not what nipsey hustle did mm -hmm. like akisha said he went back and block, bought the block he you know was hiring people he was literally the day after this happened he was supposed to have a conversation with rock nation and the lapd to talk about how to how the police department can relate more to the people in the community he was really trying to make a difference and this is an is frustrating to me because you know he should have been safe in his own hometown he should have had enough respect to feel safe and what again makes it worse is that he wasn't shot doing something stupid robbing somebody stealing selling drugs 
he was he was shot because he asked the young man who came up to him, Eric Holder. He's like, listen, you're not good for this area. You're not good for my store. So I really I'm gonna need you to get off the premises. Like I, I really do you know no hard feelings, but I really don't want you around here. The guy felt a certain type of way and came back with a gun and shot him because he was asked to leave the premises. I mean, come on. I right. guess, as business owners, people have that right all the time to say that and shouldn't have to lose their life. The guy was actually arrested coming out of a mental facility. So we already know what's going to happen. He's going to claim some insanity defense. It's going to be like, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I suffer from this. I, I suffer from that. No, no, no that, none of that should slide. You committed first degree murder. End of conversation. Which you know what sometimes too bothers me about like the industry like period too is that I think it's even it's it's even just, it's sadder that we're finding out about a lot of these uh, contributions that he made to his community after the fact. Some of us know who he is. Some of us know where he came from and what he has been doing. But my point is is that we should have been focusing on that before this even happened. You know, instead of following around all the other entertainers and all their bling and whatever, I really think that, um, you know, just anyone in media, period, and especially in the music industry and especially in the rap music industry, those are the people that you should really highlight. put at the forefront and highlight to let people know because, you know, hip hop has taken such a, a bum a rap from the, you know, the recording industry from the jump off. You know, Absolutely. and so, and we, you know, so the thing is, we have the power, you know, to expose the good things that hip hop does. Absolutely. And I think I speak for all of Mocha in the Morning when I say that our hearts and prayers definitely go out to his children and his wife, um, wife slash girlfriend. No one's really sure if they're married or not. They're but not married. Born, London, the actress. Um, our hearts go out to her because mm -hmm. this is definitely devastating. And to the asshole who posted the video of Lauren rushing into the hospital screaming for her husband, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should have never posted that video and sold it to TMZ, sold it to Bossip, and sold it everywhere else. How dare you? How dare wow. you? I know. You know, it just shows the lack of compassion. But people just don't have compassion. I personally don't think they should have released the video of him being shot. Yeah, and yeah. I know I that think, happens too. I, I agree with you. you know, I but but you should not do I mean that is for boundaries for, they're, they're boundaries people just don't boundaries. have them yeah, anymore boundaries. they yeah, just boundaries. don't have them anymore yeah. but you know you know we could talk about this forever but yeah. we definitely send our hearts and prayers to those families affected yeah. and we pray that you know just that they're covered all right well speaking about boundaries yes right oh it's, gosh, it's, it's yes. gonna be an ongoing let you know and I was speaking to our producer about this and I was mm -hmm. like you know sorry you know the answer is no I thought we said all oh, white men were canceled. Like, <laughs> I know we're thinking that Joe Biden is the next great American hero. But the thing is, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. It'd be like, if everybody else has to clock out and take a seat and be canceled, so does he. You know? I get it. And we, I, love, we love, I love Uncle Joe. Like, hey, Uncle Joe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you canceled. Well, while he may be canceled, you know, there are some <laughs> things going on that we have to discuss. You know, meaning these unwelcome kisses yeah. that he's been, you know, accused of getting, you know, trying to not sniff it, but kiss it, you know. He was sniffing. He was sniffing. He was sniffing. <laughs> I mean, you know, I like Uncle Joe and I, you know, I definitely, you know, give him his cool points or whatever. I, it, there's so much conversation around these women and them coming to talk about these accusations and all this stuff and when they come out and all that good stuff it's it's just it's just a lot of many layers many many layers to these type of situations you know i don't know i don't know what to think kia um <laughs> okay so my perspective is going to be slightly different here's a problem with joe biden joe biden actually thinks he's all of our real uncle in real life and he can come up and do the uncle, put your hand on your shoulders, make you feel comfortable, kiss you on the forehead. Everything's going to be okay. But he's not everybody's uncle. So what he think might be nice and sweet and comforting comes off creepy to random women you don't know. It just does. Like the, the second <clears throat> woman who came out, and I hate calling, calling these women accusers because that means that he did something intentionally or disgusting or inappropriate. How about I say that, uh, the women who are alleging? 
the women who are expressing their experiences. There you go. Ooh, I like that. The second woman who came out actually said that Joe Biden Eskimo kissed her, and she's like, it didn't feel sexual, it just made me uncomfortable. Which would make feel anybody uncomfortable. I don't like when my husband does me that it's freaking weird. Like, I don't want, that's weird, so why would I do it with a stranger? I don't think he needs to get, get thrown into the Me Too bucket. I don't think it's that. But I do think he needs to recognize, that we said before, there's boundaries. There's some boundaries that he needs to recognize that you can't. Yeah, well, like whoever that. is doing his hair needs to recognize his hair. It's just my hair. Like, damn. <laughs> no, he's had them fuzzy tumbleweeds in his hair for a long time. You know what? It's time to smooth them out. Focus. He needs to smooth his oh hair out God. instead of sniffing somebody else's hair. You know what? I'm saying. You know, can we on. deal with this? <laughs> we deal with this. All right. <clears throat> Chicago. Hey, Chi-Town. You are doing it. Hey, hey. doing it big. Listen, right. Chicago has elected its first African-American black female mayor. And everyone's so gay about it. And I'm not happy. So <laughs> <laughs> she happens to be openly gay as well. So we are so happy to welcome her. Hey, girl. And her seat at the t her, at the big table for real. All right. That's yes, the great Ms. Lori. Lady Smith. Yes, 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 Miss Lori. So congratulations to her about that. Yes, Miss Lightfoot. But you know what? I'm just like, it, Chicago is real black. Real. And I'm surprised <laughs> that it took them this long. Well, I thought Oprah had been the mayor all this time. <laughs> Right. I thought she left office when she moved to permanently to LA. <laughs> so I'm like, for yeah. I thought they had a black mayor for like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> with, with Auntie O. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that this woman checks all the boxes. Like the only box she hadn't checked is veteran. Like she. <laughs> <laughs> I know for real. I know it's funny, but it's true. She checked yeah. all the boxes. So you're gay, got it. So you're black, got it. So you're a female, got it. Okay, like. All I mean, that's a trifecta right there. The trifecta. They like, had win, to win, do win. it. They had to do it. But either way, they would have had a black mayor, right? Yeah, because true. it was between two black women. So yes. Yeah. Congratulations on that. So, what if we're gonna have like a um, uh, if we're gonna have like a first lady? Like, what do you call that? Who's the? What do you call like the spouse of the mayor? Does anybody first the lady? first lady? First lady. Okay. And listen, you know, the first lady of Chicago. So the she, first it would be Madam be. Mayor, and then the first lady of Chicago would what it would be, end up being if she has a partner. Oh we have God. not discovered she has one yet, but I'm dying to see. Well, I would love any one of those titles. Listen. <laughs> Y'all know I might I might have to go to the Taste of Chicago for the first time this year. The black woman is at the helm. You know the food gonna be awesome. Oh, you know, you know it's gonna taste real tasty. Real, real tasty. Oh, frying everything, <laughs> frying everything, and I'm all for it. Oh, Lay it all in the Oh gosh. And speaking of tasty, yes, it has been all about Beyonce. Beyonce. And the Beyhive is buzzing. Yes. And the honey is out pouring to everybody. <laughs> Look, Beyonce has been everywhere doing everything. Up Listen, spreading all her black girl magic. Yes. Okay, we're talking about the, the NAACP awards. Yeah, with hubby, without hubby. She was awarded Entertainer of the Year. Work. I can imagine that she wouldn't have won that. That's right. Right. You're right. <laughs> Speaking of NAACP awards, yes. before we move on to more Beyonce news, mm. Amari Hardwick at the NAACP uh, awards. Right. Okay. Right. Now, I oh, love God. me some ghosts. Because I love some power. Okay? okay. But when he came up and embraced Tandy Newton mm -hmm. and kissed mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. and then went back again, mm -hmm. I was like, I, ooh. like, I didn't understand what the going was for seconds was. It was a little uncomfortable was. for me. Like, yeah, he had one helping. He's not French. So it's not <laughs> like he got to do moi. And that's a simultaneous thing. It's not like a, like, go back. And I, I was and, like, oh. I was like, what are you coming back for? It was ecstasy. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but if I was his wife, it would have been an ass whooping. Ooh. <laughs> Kia. I mean, again, I, I have to be play devil's advocate. You are at an award show. You're meeting somebody that you like. You might be nervous. I think it was one of those awkward things where he kissed her, was saying some stuff. Wanted to finish saying what he was saying, and it just looks really janky. I don't think he was trying to be inappropriate. I really don't. I don't uh, think yeah. he was trying to invade her space. I think it was all nerves and the in the situation. And we all know how the Carter, you know, business machine works. The and about a week or so, there's going to be a picture with Beyonce, Jay Z, Amari Hardwick, and his wife out having lunch. Everything's happy, and it's going to go right under the rug. We all know this. Is oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can be handle it. Oh yeah, can handle it. They always handle stuff like that. It, it's it's going to be nothing. The, Think about when that whole elevator thing happened when Solange yeah. beat the crap out of him. 
Oh. They had a picture a week later of all them happy together at Disneyland or something like nothing right. happened. So yeah. this, this is a nothing for me. I just want to know where all that money went from that elevator. <laughs> well, what floor did they drop that billion dollars at? <laughs> now listen. So we're talking about Beyonce. Now she also, she and Jay-Z, mm -hmm. um, who received the President's Award at the NAACP, they also received an award from GLAAD, right? Yeah. Tell us about that. Oh my goodness. So yes, yeah, so they were in, uh, in LA. Yeah. And uh, oh my God, so yeah, of course, they received an award for all of their philanthropic contributions yep. to uh, the uh, gay and lesbian help alliance, <laughs> alliance <laughs> against defamation. Yes. I should know that. You should know that. Right? I should yeah. know that. You there's should so, know that. There's just so many letters all the time. But I'm there for you. I am, really. <laughs> Yay. Thank I, you, Jay-Z. I, I just want to say, yeah. please don't add any more letters to the gay community. Don't uh, add no more letters to this. What is it we like? we have a hard enough time on. saying the ones there are now. What is it? L-G-B-T-Q-I-A? Elemental P. Elemental P. W-X-I-N-G. And he can speak like this because this is the community that, you know. That's my life. life. That's his you life. You try. You got something to say about my life, you let me know. <laughs> we'll have a conversation. We can even have it on air. How about okay. that? Okay. Now, moving on. Moving on. Billboard. Billboard. Yes. Yes. Because we're all talking. The music black. So, yes. um, Billboard came out with, like, its top 100 uh, mm -hmm. videos of the uh, 21st century. Oh, when I first saw it, I thought it just said... Like, just the top 100 greatest videos of all time. Yeah. And I went back and I'm like, uh, uh the 21st century. Because yeah. I was like, there were some people missing from this list. Although Beyonce <laughs> made it in the top 10 like twice. So that's cute. Right. So, Perfect. Kia, if there was a video that you think should have made the top 100, right? What do you think that video should be? I don't know. I'm going through their list now. And every video I would put on there, I would add. But... I didn't see Lenny Kravitz American Woman on there. Uh, was that right. was that this century or last century? Are we even saying that? <laughs> right. I know. Oh my God, Jesus, Lord have mercy. But yeah, I love that's that's like my video. I feel like should be on there because it was like one of those videos that made you go, Oh my God, I really want to be in that video. <laughs> right. No, I got all like in my feels because I saw I didn't see some names. You know, yeah. that I thought should have been in there, but then I realized, oh, okay, like they're not saying goat. They're just right. saying, like, the 21st century. The 21st. We're, <laughs> we're still working on that. So, but, but you guys, I have to say, I am a little confused by the list. Because, for example, Justin Bieber's Sorry video on there, but he's not in the video. So it didn't count if the person was in the video. It's just the impact of the video. Just one right. I, I guess because, yeah. like, he's the artist performing the track. And sometimes, like, you know, for artistic and creative reasons, yeah. they showcase other talent, you know, in their videos or something mm -hmm. like that. But mm -hmm. I still think he gets the credit for it. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess. I'm not a Bieber fan, but whatever. Yeah, that's whatever. Good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Canceled too. Now let's round this thing out with music, <laughs> Miss Janet Jackson. Okay, who was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and I know this is a wonderful thing for Jorge because he's like her number one fan. So congratulations to Miss Janet Jackson, and you know what? She was very vocal about making sure the Hall of Fame included more women too. Yes. Well, first of all, she was very vocal with her. Uh, gal from Jean Paul Gaultier, uh, which is super fabulous. And uh, did you see, oh my gosh, like Janet Jackson, since the beginning of time, has always had the best hair. Period. Like, I'm telling you, every single album, like, I, she probably has all her, like, hair pieces, weaves, wigs, add ons, ponytails, like, in its own separate storage area facility she probably has her own growers like all that because i'm talking and then her now oh, i just see i didn't want to put her in the piping hot block this week it was y'all yeah, i'm just kind of um very happy about it <laughs> <laughs> of course he is <laughs> so yes miss kia do you have anything to say about miss janet jackson before we wrap this up no, I offer my time back to her biggest fan, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> well, how time, sweet of you. you keep talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, I think we should induct more women into Milk It in the Morning. Yes, but they have to be just like Kia, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or just enough to kick it with her. Just to kick it with her. They got to go through the Kia, you know, training, though. 
<laughs> All right, this has been a mm. wonderful, wonderful segment of Piping Hot. Yes. Obviously, every week we will, you know, bring more Piping Hot news to you. And definitely, definitely stay tuned for our Mocha in the Moment moment. Yes. Be right back. And, and Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, please, 2020, induct more women. Thank you so much. It's time for our mocha moments this week. If you have awesome pictures, videos that you want to share with us, with your family, friends, or just people doing some great things in the community, please send them to us. We really, really want to show everyone in our audience your mocha moments. But this week... <gasps> this week, we have a very special mocha moment because we have one of our favorite contributors, Miss Kicking It With Kia, and she's bringing you this week's mocha moment. Take it away, Kia. What's up, it's your girl Kia, and I am so excited because this month is Marvin Gaye's birthday. It actually was on April 2nd. It would have been his 80th birthday. And to celebrate that, there's a new musical coming out called Pride and Joy. It is the untold true story of Marvin Gaye's love affair with Anna Gordy, who was also an amazing songwriter and, and, and producer and everything. And it really highlights how their relationship really changed Motown's music. The musical features all of your favorite people, Aretha Franklin, Marvin Gaye, Anna Gordy, Barry Gordy, and all of the music. Check out a quick commercial right now. Fabulous is that, Miss Kia, and you look so sexually healed. <laughs> <laughs> so, in honor of that, we would like to also share the new commemorative stamp of Marvin Gaye. You're such a nut. You look so sexually healed. You are such a nut. <laughs> like, really? I can't with him. Oh my God. All right, girl Kia, thank you for joining us. As you always do, providing us your wonderful thoughts and opinions. We couldn't do it without and you. And your very first mocha moment, how was it? Oh my God, it was so much fun, it's so cool. So I cannot wait to see everybody this weekend for the weekend recap. Yes! <laughs> thank you, love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, that has been our show this week. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, this is Mocha in the Morning, adding a little flavor to your morning blend. We'll be right here every Friday morning. Myself, Keisha Boyd, and officially Jorge, my Capricorn Leche. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Get up, get out, and get something, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.